the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. Together, reducing fraud worldwide. Let's have a look at the top lies that people tell in general. These are the top lies. Nice to see you. <laughs> now, if you notice, you'll notice my obicularis oculi and zygomatric majors are not working. So that's not a real smile. A real smile that occurs from the nose down is a fake smile. But I'm also shaking my head in the negative. That's what I mean by conflict or contradiction. Next top lie. Sorry, I missed your call. The check's in the mail. I'll give up tomorrow. What do you think that relates to? Smoking? Yep. We'll have to catch up soon. That's a throwaway line. How many times do you say that and you never, ever catch up with the person? Now, this is really interesting. Hands up here who think men are great liars. Right up in the air. Hands up here who think women are great liars. Right up in the air. <laughs> Hands up here whose partner's sitting next to them and are too scared to put their hand up. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to show later on who make the better liars. But the top lies with, that men tell, now, what we do know through research is that a lot of lies that men tell don't take a lot of cognitive processing. In fact, their lies are very easy, basic and general. Research shows that women can include more uh, information, times, conversations, even when they didn't have conversations. So that's like lying twice. So these are the top lies that men tell. Have a look. I didn't have that much to drink. I'm on my way. Can you see there's not a lot of cognitive processing in this? I'm stuck in traffic. It's just what I've always wanted. I'm at the office. Now, back home in Australia, what I'm noticing, there's a lot of hotels now, or pubs, and they're called the office. So when the wife rings and says, where are you? And he says at the office, technically that's not a deception. <laughs> I'll call you. Um, I ran a training course in New York and um, a lady comes up to me and she says, Steve, why do men do that? I said, do what? Why would a guy come up, speak to me, spend you know, 15, 20 minutes, buy me a drink and said, say, I'd love to catch up with you again. Um, you know, let's, uh, let's catch up or let's hook up. And I give him my card and he walks out muttering those immortal words, I'll call you, and I'll never get the phone call. Well, men are very easy to understand. We take language very literally to start with. So when, they, they even wrote a book about it, turned it into a movie, he's not that into you. Trust me, if he's into you, he will pursue you. You've lost weight, and no, your bum doesn't look big in that dress. <laughs> top lies men tell. Let's have a look at the top lies that women tell. Any ideas? Someone, shout out a couple. Top lies that women tell, what do you think? <laughs> Nothing wrong, it's fine. <laughs> now, as men, we literally take that as, okay, no problems. <laughs> what we don't pay attention to is the gritted teeth and the delivery, the paralinguistic delivery. I don't know where it is, I haven't touched it. The remote. It wasn't that expensive. <laughs> it was on sale. I've had this for ages. No, I didn't throw it away, and I have a headache. 